In today's video, we're taking a look at one of the most beautiful tangs for your reef aquarium, the powder blue tang. A powder blue tang is a beautiful addition to any saltwater reef aquarium, and they require proper care for their health and well being. So, in today's video, we're gonna dive into some key points to keep in mind when caring for a powder blue tang. So, first, let's talk about reef tank setup. Powder blue tangs need a spacious aquarium because they're very active swimmers and they need plenty of room to move around. A minimum tank size of at least 125 gallons is recommended for a single adult powder blue tank. Now it's very important that you provide plenty of hiding spaces within your rock work structure for them because creating those hiding places make the fish feel more safe so that it can swim about your reef aquarium. Now the colors of the powder blue tang are just amazing with its black mask, its rich blue body and its yellow fins. They are just a beautiful fish in my opinion. This is my absolute favorite tang to have outside of the yellow tang. Powder blue tangs are usually listed as expert level fish because they are a tang and tangs can be a little bit more challenging to keep. So if you're new to the hobby and you're looking to get a tang for your reef aquarium, powder blue tang may not be the first one that you try. I know in my experience when I had a powder blue tang in my old 210 gallon reef tank, he quickly became the king of the reef. Now they are generally peaceful with community fish. Um, he did really well with another yellow tang and the cell fin tang by his side. And powder blue tangs also do really well with other peaceful fish. When it comes to specific water parameters for keeping a powder blue tang, I'll leave that information in the description below for you to check out there. The next thing I wanna talk about is feeding your powder blue tang. Now powder blue tangs are herbivores and they love to graze algae off of your rock work. So they're a good utility fish to have if you're looking for fish to help keep algae back. The powder blue tang is one of them, but they do thrive on a veggie diet. They need a rich diet of algae. So providing them with a variety of seaweed in their diet, like nori sheets, uh, spirulina, some flake food, you can give them some meaty food from time to time. My powder blue tang tended to eat everything that I would put in the tank. And then also feeding them multiple times a day is very beneficial to their health. Now it is important to monitor the behavior of your powder blue tang in your reef aquarium because like I said, they can be a little bit aggressive, but they usually only do that to other tangs, especially if you're introducing tangs at different times, they can be aggressive up front. Um, so there's different ways that you can introduce a tang to your reef aquarium. You can use something like a tanklimate, turn your lights down low, slowly acclimate them to each other and then introduce them. But the main takeaway from adding tangs to any reef aquarium is to add the tangs that you want to your tank at the same time. Like most tangs, they are susceptible to marine ick. So when picking one out at your local fish store or getting one online, be sure there's a way that you can inspect the fish before you get it. And if you do have a quarantine set up for the fish, that would be a good place to start. Make sure you have a quarantine tank to kind of monitor and watch the powder blue tank before you add them to your reef tank. And if you don't have a quarantine tank set up, there are things like safety stop. That's a rapid fish quarantine. But if you're adding a tang to your reef aquarium, go ahead and take the precautions and do some kind of quarantine or preventative step because dealing with marine ick once you already have an established community of fish can be pretty devastating and just hard to deal with. So be sure to have a large enough aquarium to keep a powder blue tang because they are very active swimmers and they love to graze the rock work. Make sure you provide it with a seaweed diet like nori and flake food to keep it healthy and you'll have a great time enjoying your powder blue tang in your reef aquarium. So if you've enjoyed this video, I created another video just for you. Click or tap your screen right here. Thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting here on the channel and I will see you in the next one.